Hi Virgo, welcome to Angela333. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, a couple things here before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, this will be for the person on your mind. There will be an extended reading link below. Uh, as well, it will focus on what your person's thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intention, love notes, and guidance. Uh, in the reading here today, we, all, we will also ask what your person is thinking or feeling about you. So with that, let's get started with your reading. Uh, we're going to see what, what's going on here for Virgo, for the person on Virgo's mind. What can you show Virgo? What can you show Virgo about the person on their mind? All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Strength card. See what the bottom of the deck shows. Okay. All right, so the energy I feel right now, Virgo, I feel like things are at a stalemate. Okay, you have the Two of Swords here. Below that Two of Swords is the Two of Cups. So it's showing me that there definitely is still a connection there between you and this person. But it feels like an energy neither you or, or nor your person right now is taking action. We're going to see as the reading goes along what happens. But what they're showing me here is uh, you do have the Eight of Cups. Okay. So, Virgo, you may be exploring other options. Your person I get here, too, could be somebody who's, who's indecisive, can't make up their mind. They may be somebody who uh, may be emotionally unavailable, or maybe they're exploring other options as well. We will see uh, what happens. Uh, you are showing up here as the Nine of Pentacles, which is great energy. It's showing me here that... Uh, I feel like no matter what is going on with this person um, or you're having a stalemate with this person or they're being indecisive about how they feel, I feel like you're having fun and you're, you're getting out there. Maybe you're doing things with friend, maybe friends, maybe you're focused very much so on your money. Uh, you're looking really good, very attractive energy, very grounded energy. Uh, you could be dealing with a Cancerian, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Uh, you also have here your, you know, you could be dealing with another Virgo, Taurus or Scorpio, uh, Vir what am I saying here? Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but I feel like this is your energy here. And then you have the Strength card, okay? Leo energy. So I get here that your person could have a bit of an ego. That may be why uh, there's some sort of stalemate or there hasn't been a lot of movement between you and this person. Person, So pride could be getting in the way here, right? They're controlling their emotions. Uh, for some of you, this is someone who may be, um, you know, emotionally unavailable. So let's pull some more cards. Let's see what else they show me here. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you show, show Virgo? I also want to say here, roles and energies can be reversed. So if it resonates uh, where the role or the energy is reversed, then take it how it resonates with you. Okay, so show me what else Virgo needs to know about the person on their mind. Okay, so we have the sun card again, another Leo energy. Sun card, the lovers. And we have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you've got somebody here who's a bit stubborn, right? And I feel it's ego and pride here, unless it's you, Virgo. But, um, oh, look at that. <laughs> and there you are, Virgo. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Hermit here, okay? I feel this is an energy, like I said. I feel like you're doing, you, you know, no matter what, I feel like you're still... Uh, enjoying life and I feel like you're keeping to yourself I do feel like you spend some time though thinking about this right and for some of you with the state of cups here it may be that you're thinking you know maybe about walking away here from the situation but again here I'm seeing the lover's card and it's telling me here that there's still a very strong connection between you and your person but I feel your person's ego and pride is what's getting in the way here okay so um 
You got the Sun card and you have here the Eight of Cups, okay? So it shows me here that there's not a whole lot of uh, movement or growth. Uh, there's definitely an energy of not feeling content. This could be you or your person here, all right? But what I am going to say, you know, the, the connection is still there, all right? Even if you haven't spoken to this person, the energy is still there. But I get here with the Four of Pentacles, your person's holding back. Your person's holding back because of their ego and their pride. So, uh, and I feel like this is what's making you do a lot of thinking. It's making you question things, right? Some of you, you may be thinking about walking away. Um, so let's pull a, some more cards. Let's see where this is all going. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you tell Virgo about the person on their mind? Show Virgo uh, the person on their mind. I feel like you're dealing with somebody, too, who could be spending a lot of time at home. Uh, maybe they're working, uh, saving money. I get that energy as well from your person. Okay, so you have the tower. Okay, things are going to get shaken up here. Let's see what happens. The tower. The queen of swords. And you have here the queen of wands interesting and you have here the emperor okay so this is what's going to happen i feel virgo okay you got aries energy here on the bottom of the deck you got uh the hermit here as well and you have the six of cups so your person is also showing up here as the emperor, okay? So this is someone I feel who's been doing a lot of thinking about you. You also have the king of swords here, all right? So this person's been thinking about communication, but like I said, their ego and their pride has been getting in the way. So there's somebody I feel that they're definitely missing you here with that six of cups. There's a very strong connection here, a soulmate connection. I feel like the two of you, you this could have even been a, fresh, a friendship of the past that developed into something strong, um, you know, over time. But I get that this person misses you. They're definitely thinking about you. I feel like they're thinking about here, uh, what to say, how to communicate. And, you know, I said I'm seeing here the King of Swords. I'm also seeing here the Queen of Swords here too, okay? So, <clears throat> I feel what's going to happen here, Virgo. Um, I feel, and I think this is what I saw in maybe your last love reading here, but I feel what's going to happen is this person's being stubborn, okay? They're probably somebody here that likes to have things their way. And I get the energy that this is, and you know, like I said, they could be very focused on money and career right now. So, you know, they may be uh, very focused and they try and bury themselves in their work to try and forget about it, but they can't forget about it because this is in the heart of your reading. This tells me this person thinks about you constantly, right? You're somebody who left a mark on their heart. And no matter what, no matter if they try to walk away or they try to avoid how they feel about you, they can't because the energy is still there. They, I feel like this is someone who has never probably felt this way before. They haven't felt this way in a long time. And their ego and their pride here is getting in the way. But this is what's going to happen. You have the tower here. So something's going to happen. There's divine intervention here. Something's going to happen that's going to cause this person to reach out to you, okay? And I feel here, look at that. You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Queen of Wands here. You got two queens. Um, I'm going to say there could be a choice here between two. Uh, I'm not really picking up that energy, but it is possible here. But what, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. But what I get here is that you got communication coming in from this person. This person, some way, somehow, is coming towards you with communication. That's what they've been thinking about. Um, and I believe in one of your past readings, it was showing me that they've been waiting for you, okay? I think they've been waiting for you to reach out to them. And that's it. I've been picking up that energy for a while. But I feel what's going to happen out of the blue 
you're going to hear from this person because I feel it's going to get to the point where, you know, um, I feel like they, they're maybe feeling, right? They may be feeling here that you're going to walk away um, because you're looking really good here. You're looking really attractive. You know, I don't know if this person uh, has any capability of seeing what you're doing if you're uh, on social media. Okay, but uh, I feel here this person can't stay away from you too long. All right, this is somebody I feel here who's very attracted to you. There's a lot of chemistry, and they're not going to be able to hold back uh, very long from this energy, which, which is you. So I feel there's upcoming communication between you and this person. So let's see now. I'm going to ask, what is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? What can you, what else can you tell Virgo about how this person is thinking or feeling about Virgo? So no matter how, um, how much ego they have, no matter how much pride they have, the universe is going to shape things up for this person somehow, um, and it's going to cause them to communicate to you. I'm just going to say, I don't know what the divine intervention is going to be, but let's see here. Maybe I should clarify it. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? I think I will. I'm going to pull these cards first. And then I'm going to clarify the tower. I'm going to pull one more. Wow, it's duplicate energy is coming out here. Okay, yeah, look at that. All right, we're going to clarify the tower. What's going to happen here? Okay, it could be that you just receive unexpected communication from this person. But let's clarify the tower. Why is the tower here, please? Okay. Let's see here. Okay. You got the Six of Pentacles. You got the Seven of Swords. You had the Page of Pentacles. And you have here the Six of Wands. Okay. I feel like um, what's going to happen is this person it's going to get to a point here, and I feel what's going to happen is you're going to get attention from somebody, all right? And somehow this person is going to find out that maybe you're giving attention to somebody else. And I feel that's going to shake things up here, okay? And I feel that this is somebody here that they're not going to be able to avoid any longer reaching out to you, okay? Or handle uh, the fact that they may find out somehow through divine intervention that maybe you're putting your time and energy towards someone or something else, okay? It can be maybe you're out there dating or maybe you're talking to somebody. Maybe you're talking to one of their friends, I pick up that energy as well. Whatever it is, something's going to shake this person up. And I feel it has to do with either you being so attractive, getting attention, you know, maybe they're on their so your social media, or they get wind that you're dating or you're giving your time and energy to somebody else is really what's going to prompt this person to come towards you, okay? Uh, to see your worth here as the Queen of Swords, okay? So this could be somebody who wasn't seeing your worth before in the past and that's why they were feeling like you were going to reach out to them but I feel like you you didn't okay or you're not uh, maybe some of you have I don't know but you have the Emperor the Ace of Cups the King of Swords and the Temperance okay what are they feeling and thinking about you they have a lot of love they have a lot of feelings for you right they're kind they're trying to control it and I feel they're definitely like I said before, they're thinking about communicating with you. And I feel that it's a matter of time because when this tower moment happens, that's when that communication is going to come towards you here. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra. And look at that, the six of, sword, six of pentacles again. So this person is, I feel, they're going to be reaching out to you with communication uh, to try and get things back on track, right? And I feel that 
for some of you, you know, depending on if you're talking to other people or whatever, you're going to have a choice here. You're going to have a choice who to put your, you know, give your time and energy to. Uh, and that could be here why you have the lovers in the center here. Like I said, it can't be a choice. So some of you may actually even have a choice in love between two. So with that, Virgo, we're going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how uh, it plays out with your person. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.